lab guy here. The Cyclops slash 5AXP4 project is now essentially complete. As you can see the 5AXP4 is running quite nicely and sitting in its printed plastic uh, face frame I built this in the classic style of an electronic breadboard and uh, it's both crude and sophisticated we have the front panel controls which are the main off on switch is push pull this is the brightness control this is the high voltage off on switch and focus control over here is the MCO high voltage power supply that provides 10 to 15 thousand volts for the picture tube the MCO power supply in turn is powered by a TDK switching 24 volt DC power supply the bias for the electron gun in the tube is generated on this board by means of this transformer the green wires are 6.3 volts and bridge straight through the board to the other two green wires to run the heater in the cathode ray tube which you can see glowing inside there I also tap the 6.3 volt line with a diode and a capacitor to generate 9 volts DC for the yellow front panel LED the red LED is powered by a dropping resistor on the 24 volt power supply the board generates 400 volts plus 400 volts DC on this capacitor minus 200 volts DC on that capacitor <clears throat> the minus 200 volts DC runs the brightness control circuit so that the grid can run from 0 volts to minus 100 volts and typically the, the pot is roughly centered in its rotation and it's approximately 50 or 60 volts <coughs> the focus control is wired in a three resistor arrangement so that the center wiper is at approximately 300 volts when that pot is centered. Both pots contain integral on off switches. The high voltage switch is wired after the main switch so that if you turn the first switch off everything is off and uh, the way you start this set to save wear and tear on a cold cathode if you apply high voltage to the tube when the cathode is cold it will force put a um, an intense electrostatic force on the cathode which will strip away the powder coating and could possibly cause a grid uh, grid to cathode short so the sequence for turning on the set is to start with the high voltage off and you turn on bias warm up the heater and then switch on the high voltage and this way you don't damage the cathode of the tube uh, this circuit is not a very sophisticated circuit like in a television set this is a this is literally constructed as a laboratory instrument by itself the Cyclops 5AXP4 video tube uh, only produces a spot on the screen when the amplifier is turned off there is no action on the screen <laughs> 
it's just a dot. The amplifier is still dying out. But um, at any rate, it just makes a spot which can get incredibly, incredibly too bright. Notice how the phosphors burned away on the screen. That was an unfortunate accident of poor circuit design. So, this is Cyclops. A deflection support device that lights the tube and through these four external jacks I can bring in horizontal and vertical deflection to the neck of the CRT and move the beam wherever I want. There's also the purple and black jack which uh, is where you can bring in video and blanking pulses to blank off uh, the beam on the tube. So, uh, quite a nice project. Uh, this all started when I all I wanted to do was turn the uh, electron gun on in this tube and see if it was a good tube. And the next thing I know I'm building a project. But that's the way it works here at Lab Guys World. So, there you are. The Cyclops 5AXP4 project. There will be more projects related to this coming up as I construct amplifiers to drive the yoke and other various scanning circuits. So uh, check back with my website on the projects pages occasionally at www.labguysworld.com. Thanks for viewing.